Your brain is literally made from the food that you eat. And your brain is the most metabolically active organ in our body. And I say that with some really eye-opening data to affirm that, which is even though the human brain is only about 2% of our body's mass, it consumes upwards of about 25% of the calories we consume. All right. It is a ravenous organ, constantly consuming energy because it's the governor, it's, it's governing so much about what's happening with our biology. And so just understanding that, but here's the thing too, your brain is very, very picky. Unlike your liver, unlike, you know, even your, you know, your heart, there's, there's a very specific diet or nutrient cascade that can actually make its way into the human brain. And this is largely because we have this built-in security system that the brain has called the blood-brain barrier. You know, I use a toll booth bouncer, right? So there's all these toll booths that nutrients can pass through if they got a speed pass. Or if you, if you don't have a pass, you don't have the cash. But those bouncers are like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Vin Diesel. Like they're very, you know, powerful in keeping you from getting in there, right? Now, this is all amazing. That's, that's one aspect. We're talking about internal uh, intrusions but also external intrusions. The human brain is the only organ that's fully encased in hard bone, right? This complicated organ is also the most fragile organ. Our brain is the consistency of like soft butter. Like you can mush your brain so easily. But nature's coming in, and the part, and I thought about this recently, like I was just, I was actually going, I was walking somewhere and it just hit me like, what the hell, why would nature the most complicated organ in the known universe is powerful. Why would it make it so fragile? And it's because it has to be because of neuroplasticity. It's changing and evolving so much so quickly. It has to remain in this state where it can be so malleable, which is really cool. And so it has these two protective mechanisms. But today, unlike all of our countless you know, uh, centuries and thousands of years, hundreds of thousands of years to get us to this point as humanity... Right now, in the last few decades, we have more environmental intrusions and internal intrusions that can damage and degrade the blood-brain barrier than we've ever had before. And so now we have some really eye-opening data on the blood-brain barrier getting broken down due to things like excessive sugar or neuroinflammation, which we'll talk about another time. 